what happened? What? He, he came in, he sat down, he uh, you know gave us a brief couple of comments about what what went on over in, uh, in Pakistan. Uh, was very proud, and uh, we talked for a while. We had lunch, made a nice toast to him, congratulated him on his victory and uh, the guts it took for him to make that decision. And how proud that day! Nobody was a Democrat or Republican. When an American took the shot, it was a great job. As we said, it was the second shot around the world. As the Chief said, it was a day of non-politics. We were happy that we got justice. Chief shook our hands, congratulated us on our service, told us how he felt about the members that we lost 10 years ago from 9-11. And uh, we sat together as men, gentlemen, around the table, enjoyed a meal, and uh, we celebrated having had justice this week. Do you think it was important and appropriate for him to come to Ground Zero today? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I think this. Uh, I can speak. I think for everybody in this White House and the families. This, this, uh, we're so proud of the President of the United States right now making right that now. decision. Uh, you know, I gave him a big hug inside. Uh, challenged him to a little one-on-one -on -one down at the White House. And he invited uh, us to the White House. He invited us to the White House to do a little basketball in the back. He did. Two court. times he invited us. So uh, we're going to take him up. I think on that offer. <laughs> Was it emotional? Uh, somewhat. When he was speaking to us, yeah. relating his feelings about 9/11. And, uh, and how difficult of a decision it was for him to follow through on, and he did it. Uh, yeah, I think it was pretty emotional. But uh, then it was actually a pretty light atmosphere throughout most of the year. Yeah, I think when it comes down to it, when he was sitting there talking to us, uh, you know, these guys all the time give their best, give their all, put their lives on the line. And I think on Sunday night, he knew exactly how it felt. Like for those 30 minutes, uh, he was describing to us how he was, you know, so anxious because he couldn't control what was going on uh, over over there in Pakistan, and he understood now how we feel sometimes going to a, a fire or trying to rescue somebody. The frustration sometimes of us not getting that done, or the joy and elation of us getting that job done and coming back home safe. What was the message you guys gave him? Uh, we basically let him know that on behalf of uh, the firehouse, the family, and the entire department, we were grateful that he was able to. Uh, authorize the job, get it done, and that it was uh, quite a success.